Hey, honeybees. I want to share this book with you. The title of the book is I Can't Do That Yet. The author of the book is Esther Pia Cordova. The author is the person who wrote the words in the book. And the illustrator is the person who has drawn and painted all the pictures in the book. The illustrator of this book is Nema W. Adaputri. The reason I'm sharing this book with you is that it has some words in the title and in the book that I hear my students say all the time. This is me dealing with what I see as a little bit of a problem in the art room. The title of the book is I Can't Do That Yet. And what do you think are the words that I hear in the art room from lots of my students all the time? The words that I'm thinking of are, I can't do that. Let's read the book and you think about why I especially thought this might have some words in it that would help all my students and me. The name of the main character in this book is Enna. It's bedtime, Enna. Enna loves all kinds of times. Free time, play time, cookie time, and even brushing teeth time. Bedtime is the time that Enna doesn't like. But everybody knows that before bedtime comes story time. And Anna loves story time. Anna's dad asked her to read the first page, like every evening. Anna responded, I can't do that. Halfway through the story, Baxter crawled into the bed. Her dad pretended that he didn't notice. This is Baxter right here. Anna couldn't remember the end of the story. She must have fallen asleep, but suddenly she wasn't in her bed anymore. She looked around and saw a woman. The woman was tall with long brown hair and glasses. Anna had the feeling that she knew her. Somehow they must have met before. Finally, you are here. I was waiting for you all day long, said the woman. Let me show you what we have done. The woman smiled and took Enna by the hand. Look, Enna, this is our office. We usually arrive here at around nine in the morning. The team we work with is awesome. We hired a bunch of very creative and smart people. Everybody works together and we lead the technical department. Anna could tell the woman was excited, but she had no idea what she was talking about. She didn't want to interrupt her, but she didn't understand why the woman kept saying we. Anna had never been here before. And why did the woman look so familiar? Yesterday was a crazy day. The servers went down and everybody was worried. At first, we couldn't find the problem in the code. Our web page wasn't showing anything. But fortunately, we were able to fix it in just 20 minutes. Anna was confused. She didn't know what servers were or why they were important but she was glad that the woman was able to fix the problem. Then the woman took Anna to a desk. There she turned on her computer and started writing something on a green background. Anna, I'm going to take a break. Can you finish the rest of the work? Look at her expression.
I can't do that. Really? The woman started laughing, and Anna thought that was mean. But her laugh was so contagious that she eventually had to laugh, too. Suddenly, the woman got up and went to the fridge. She put celery sticks and a jar of peanut butter on the counter. Slowly, the woman started to put a celery stick directly into the jar. Anna's mom always told Anna to use a fork instead of putting the celery directly into the jar, but the woman didn't seem to care. Anna still couldn't remember the woman's name, so she asked. You are telling me all these things, but I don't even know your name. The woman looked Anna in the eyes and said, I'm you and you are me. That was not possible. How can one person also be another person? The woman stood up from her chair and whispered, My name is Anna, and I am a possible version of you in the future. The only thing different about you and me is time. Anna was confused. That can't be true. I don't even know what you're talking about. Server? Code? I can't do any of that. You can't do that? Anna, you can't do that yet because you haven't had the time that I've had. When we were 16, we started to learn computer programming. We made this little game and everything went from there. You really wanted this. And so you created me just like you created this game. But I don't remember any of that. How could you? This is the future. If you want this, it could be your future. And I couldn't believe what she had just heard. How could all of this be possible? She wasn't like this woman at all, but maybe she really could be like her. This future seemed exciting. Anna had so many thoughts at once that she wasn't able to say anything. The woman said that Anna could be her if she wanted, but what if she didn't want to be her? Anna didn't want to hurt her older self's feelings, so she didn't say anything. Anna's older self looked at her and said gently, you don't need to say anything. I know exactly how you feel. I want you to meet a few people before you have to go. All of them care about you very much. <clears throat> With these words, she opened a door wide and Anna could see what was inside. The room was full of Anna's. There were so many Anna's that she didn't know which one to focus on first. Each one seemed different, but at the same time, similar. Nobody seemed to notice little Anna. She wished she were able to stay forever and to meet every single one of them. Just when she finally had the courage to step into the room full of Innes, the door closed. Suddenly, Innes' feet started to feel wet. She heard a voice far away. The voice told her that she had to go now she then heard her older self telling her one last thing. We are always inside you, even when you don't see, feel, or know it. Anna felt Baxter licking her feet and quickly realized that she was back in her bed. She got up right away and told her dad, I want to try to read the first page tonight. With a little time, I'll get it right. I just can't do it yet. 
I can't do that yet. The end. We're going to have to do art a little bit differently this year, honeybees. And I'm going to try to teach you some things that you may not think that you are able to do right now. I want you to remember this book. So when you are trying to follow directions and trying to learn new skills in art, when you catch yourself saying the words, I can't do that, add on the word yet. You can do those things. I have all the confidence in the world in all of you. Make your phrase, I can't do that yet. The end.